Communication language between road users. It is the language used between road users which is understandable to all, even if they are from different languages, cultures and education. It is the link in exchanging information between them. Forms of communication language between road users. Traffic signals, lights for vehicle. Direction change lights. Direction change lights are used to inform road users to be ready to turn or change lanes, which requires you to look at your vehicle's mirrors beforehand in order to warn others. You always have to look at your vehicle's mirrors to ensure it is safe to change lanes, especially within a sufficient period of time, in order to warn others like drivers and pedestrians, of your intention to change lanes. If you are planning to turn right at an intersection and you came across another intersection that precedes the intersection that you plan to switch lanes towards, do not use the right signal until you have passed the first intersection. This will prevent any confusion for other drivers on the road about where and when you are going to actually turn with your vehicle. This requires you to use the signal within a sufficient period to warn drivers behind you and in front of you that you are planning to turn or change lanes. Cases of using direction change lights Turning right or left When stopping the vehicle Changing lanes and overtaking When exiting a roundabout You turn into the opposite direction when entering or exiting car parking. Speed reduction lights. It is used when using the brakes pedal to reduce speed, where the lights appear directly to the rear vehicles, to inform them that they need to reduce their own speed. If it is combined with right direction light, it will be informing them to stop. And if it is close to an intersection, it will be to inform them to turn. Front and rear lights. Using front and rear lights helps others to see you in bad lighting conditions. They should be switched on between sunset and sunrise and in dangerous weather conditions such as fog, rain, smoke and sandstorms and when it's hard for other drivers to see. Warning signal, the four lights flasher. They are used to warn of a risk on the road. Cases of using warning signals. The malfunction of the vehicle on the road, getting in an accident or emergency stopping. When moving on a highway and facing a traffic accident or any risk on the road, you use them to inform the vehicles behind you of this risk. One of the common mistakes using warning signals while driving them in foggy conditions. Other drivers cannot pay attention to stopped vehicles and it also prevents you from informing vehicles behind you of your intentions to turn. Overtaking signal There are two overtaking signals. One given from the vehicle that is to be overtaken to the vehicle that wants to overtake. 
in the case of lack of visibility of the vehicle that wants to overtake. The left turn signal, which means, wait a minute, as overtaking at this specific moment is not safe. And the driver must wait until it is safe to overtake. The right turn signal. It means it is okay for a driver to overtake. Headlights and flashing warning lights. It is used by the rear vehicle to inform the front vehicle to give way to overtake. It is used also to alert the opposite vehicle of risks on the road. Warning signals of special use. Military vehicles. Red and blue warning lights are used in police, internal security forces, civil defense vehicles, and official ceremonies and processions vehicles. These lights mean the vehicle is moving at a high speed and must give it way. Medical vehicles. Green warning lights are often used in ambulance vehicles and those used for medical purposes. When vehicles use these lights, that means they are on an emergency mission and are traveling at high speeds and must give them way. Service vehicles. Orange warning lights are used in these vehicles. When vehicles use these lights, that means the vehicle is moving at a low speed and you can overtake it carefully, such as street cleaning and waste collection vehicles. Vehicles equipped to tow faulty vehicles. Vehicles moving at low speeds or its width is more than 3 meters. Rescue and control vehicles. Big shipment cars. Public works vehicles. Vehicles operating in special areas. Yellow warning lights are used in these vehicles. Inside areas allocated for their operational work within the areas of airports and seaports. Vehicle sound signals. Normal sound signal. The horn. Horns are used to warn others from a potential road risk so they can avoid its occurrence before it becomes too late. The horn is the type of warning devices that must be used reasonably and when necessary only to alert other drivers of the approaching of your vehicle or its position. There are signs that prohibit the use of horns in areas such as hospitals, schools, houses of worship and residential areas. High sound signal. A high sound signal is used to inform others. There is a vehicle that needs them to give way because it is on an urgent mission. This sound signal is used in the following vehicles. Ambulance, internal security forces, patient transport, civil defense, police, official ceremonies and processions. Rules of using horns and lights on the road. It is prohibited to drive a vehicle on the road, unequipped with a horn. Vehicle drivers are prohibited to use the horn except in case of imminent risk. Vehicles are prohibited to have special sounding horns. It is prohibited to use front and rear glare lights, except in weather conditions that require this. 
It is prohibited to use any means of hiding the vehicle's windows without a written permit. It is prohibited to drive a vehicle on the road within the period from sunset to sunrise or in bad vision because of weather conditions during day hours except by using the following Headlight, two rear lights and the rear number plate light It is prohibited to switch on glare light in case of stopping Change glare lights to headlight or position lights when meeting another vehicle at a reasonable distance Red light is prohibited to appear in the nose of the vehicle white lights in normal cases or yellow ones in foggy conditions The driver of any vehicle parked on a road unequipped with public lighting overnight or in daytime in bad vision has to remove it from the edge of the road and keep a red light or a reflector at its rear. A vehicle driver has to adjust the glare light to be directed a little to the right side of the road.